Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the COVID-19 report. I am your host, Dane Henning. Nursing home and long-term care members described feeling abandoned during the coronavirus pandemic, despite well-known research that had indicated the disease would be lethal for the residents they serve, a new JAMA article makes plain. Quote, there are infection preventionists in tears, staff that have to work 12-hour shifts nonstop, medical directors that haven't had a day off since the beginning of April, Joanna Demiotti, MD, a disease expert who works with nursing homes around Rochester, New York, said. She continued, the stress that the healthcare personnel are going through from medical director to the CNA is unbelievable. The article detailed how various struggles have exacerbated the pandemic's toll on nursing homes and its workers. Workers noted that the industry has since struggled to meet federal testing mandates and have faced severe personnel shortages, all while hospitals get most attention. Facilities and staff have felt abandoned, Terry Fulmer, PhD, RN, and president of the John A. Hartford Foundation told JAMA. The article also explained that after initial requests for personal protective equipment, COVID-19 testing and staff support went largely ignored. Providers are now stressing the need for resource support as many states released reopening plans for nursing homes. So are consumer advocates. Quote, every day we hear about the critical needs for personal protective equipment for staff, for testing for residents, and until those things are prioritized for long-term care facilities, I think we're not at the point where we're going to see this getting under control, said Lori Smetnatka, JD, Executive Director of the National Consumer Voice for Quality Long-Term Care. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.